Welcome back guys. Now, quick one today, quick and dirty. The most common question I see on all the Facebook groups, all the tube amp groups, is how do I connect my amp to my speaker cab? Let's get up close and I'll explain for you now. Here we are at the back. Now, I can count on one hand how many stereo valve amps are there are, so we're not even gonna go into those. The majority, if not most, are all mono, okay? So we're dealing with a mono power amp. I see some people trying to connect two jacks to a mono amp, completely pointless. So, commonly now, we used to have selector switches, I'll go through that in a minute, but most modern amps have individual outputs or parallel outs for each ohmage coming off of the output transformer. In the back of the cabinet as well, you usually see mono or stereo switches or some are automatically switching. You're only really concerned in the mono ratings, okay? So on this, we have a switch. I've set it to mono. In mono, we only have two choices. We have 16 ohms on this input, on the left one, they call it, and on this one, four ohm. That's to do with the speaker ratings and how they are. So let's say we're gonna use the 16 ohm input, which is the most common for a Marshall. We are going to connect this one using a speaker cable. I won't go into the details now, but make sure it's a speaker cable, not an instrument cable. And you're gonna connect it to the 16 ohm tap or output, okay? You just match up the numbers. If for tonal reasons, there is a slight difference, you wanna use the four ohm on this particular amp, you'd either find the four ohm jack or on this one, you've got option to go four ohms or eight ohms. We would switch it to the four and we use one of these jack outs into this input saying four ohms. Okay, simple. If it had eight ohms, we would switch this to the eight and we'd use one of these out. Say we wanna run two cabs though. So this is switched to mono, so we've got two, we're going for the full stack. We're gonna use the 16 ohm inputs. You, could not, you cannot use the fours in this situation. And it's, this is quick and dirty, we won't go into depth. So you've got 16 ohm cabinet and you're gonna have another one which is another 16 ohm cabinet. Now, when you combine the two cabinets, they're gonna be running in parallel which will halve the ohmage. Or you'll divide 16 by two, which will give you eight ohms. So what we would do then, if we had two 16 ohm cabinets, we would go here, we'd make sure it's switched to eight ohms because our total load will be eight ohms. And we'd connect one cabinet's 16 ohm jack into one of these eights and then the other one, we also use the 16 ohm from the cabinet into the other 8 ohm tap on the head. If you have two 8 ohm cabinets, they would divide down to 4 ohms, in which case you would then switch it to 4, and you'd use these two jacks here, which using two 8 ohm cabs would get you down to the total of 4. Okay, that's quick and dirty on that one. Let's have a quick look at the selector switch. Okay, here we go. We're at the back of a more traditional Marshall layout. Now, same difference. We're going to keep it in mono because we're just dealing with a mono output of the amp. This, so we're going to use the 16 ohm in on the amp. So we're going to come out of, we're going to make sure our selector is set to 16 ohm to match the ohmages, and you're just going to plug straight in. If you wanted to use the 4 ohm mono, you would turn this selector to the 4 and come out into there. Now, Two 4x12 cabinets, no problem. We would, because we've got two 16 ohm cabinets, again, divide down by two, leaving us with eight ohms, so we'd switch that selector to eight. We'd plug one 16 ohm cabinet into here, and the bottom 16 ohm cabinet into there, giving us our two 2x12s. Again, you can't do it four ohms, because then you'd be going down to two ohms, which the output transformers are not rated for, and you will be in trouble. Okay, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, stick them down below. If you found that useful, please click like. If you want to hear more videos, I'm doing tone matching videos, repairs. Click subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of every video I upload. Thank you for watching. See you later.